Hey fantasy fans, welcome back. It's Dan here with Tree Beer Book Reviews. And today I'm just going to be talking about what I'm going to be reading in the month of uh, month of January and what I read in December in 2021. So really excited to get in the list. First TBR of 2022. Let's get into it. Just want to say happy new year's to everyone and welcome to any new subscribers or you know new viewers and you know welcome to and welcome back to my old subscribers i hope you guys had a great new year i'm really excited to be back um and this year is going to be a really fun year of new reads new books uh hopefully some new growth for the channel and i'm going to try and explore and do a little bit of risky things with the channel do some new videos maybe some ranty videos i don't know we'll see we'll see where the year takes us um but i'm really excited to get into this list so again guys you know, it's just a free way to help me out is just like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I really want to talk about, let's talk about first what I read in the month of December and how that uh, that month went. So let's get into that. Okay, so let's talk December. December was actually a pretty good month for me. I got through six books in total in December, which was a lot, <laughs> a lot more than I thought it would. I only had a few on slate. So I'm going to go through them. So the first book I got through, it was actually an audiobook listen was Wrath uh, by John Gwynn. It's the fourth book, last book in The Faithful and the Fallen. Um, I'm gonna have a review coming out for it this week, so it'll be, it'll be the next video after this. You know, check that out if you like the series. There's gonna be full spoilers in that review, just because I wanna talk about it, get you know, all my, you know, all my grievances, all my loves and likes out on the, you know, out in the world. So yeah, Wrath is the first book I read. So then I'm gonna go in order. So the next book was The Hogfather by Terry Pratchett. It was the uh, the first Pratchett I read, or the Pratchett I had slated for for 2021. Great book. I have a review for that. I have a discussion with Chaz and Derry on the channel. You know, I'll put links here. I'll put links in the descriptions. But, like, please check those out. Those videos are so much fun, and I'm so glad I did. And I can't wait to buddy read with them in the future. All right. So the next book I read was The Blood of Elves by Andre Zapkowski. Uh, as I know, this is the the first technical book of The Witcher, but there's also you know a bunch of uh, like the short stories like Last Wish and Sword of Destiny. I don't have Sword of Destiny yet, so I'm gonna uh, slowly be reading The Witcher. I do have a review for this out on the channel. Gosh, did I really enjoy it, and it really you know furthered my enjoyment going into the second season of The Witcher. So, Blood of Elves, check it out. Very good. Okay, next read was Caliban's War, second book in The Expanse by James S.A. Corey. Oh, man, this book was great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be recording a review for this soon. Look for that, cannot wait to talk about this book. Holy cow, what a book. So yeah, Caliban's War, really, really, really beautiful. So then my last two reads were The Dragon Reborn, so continuing with the, the Wheel of Time reread. Um, Finished that, finished that on December 31st. And then I, what I also finished on December 31st was The Assassin's Apprentice. So really big push at the end. Um, you know, it was a bit of a, a different month for me in terms of reading uh, December. I kind of fell into a bit of a, say I read six books, I kind of fell into a bit of a reading slump. And not because of just, it was, A, it's super busy over the Christmas holidays, but I was reading a lot of heavy fantasy at the time. And so I was like, I was reading The Dragon Reborn and The Assassin's Apprentice at like middle of the month. And I was like, oh, I'm hurting. I'm hurting. I need something to pick me up. And then I picked up Blood of Elves and that like just, I read that in three days and it got me going. And then I still really hadn't touched those other two. And then I picked up Caliban's War and I read that in three days. And that's like a chonky boy. I was reading like 200 pages a day for that. And then, because I stopped reading, like, Assassin's Apprentice at, like, 30% through. I was like, oh, it's so slow. I don't know if I'm loving it. And uh, I know for all you Robin Hobb fans out there, like, that might be blasphemy. But, uh, you know, wait for my review when it comes out. And um, and then just something, like, clicked near the end of the month. And I was just, like, a reading machine. And I finished them all. So uh, there is one book I said I was going to read in December. <laughs> in my December TBR and I was way overconfident and it just never got put on the schedule like two of these books Blood of Elves and The Dragon and Reborn weren't on the schedule and I put them on so the book that kind of got uh, put by the wayside was The Fifth Elephant by Terry Pratchett so this is the uh, I think it's the fifth book fifth book in the guards um, 
I don't know why I just didn't get to it. And uh, I, I've been saying I'm on. I'm looking forward to more Terry Pratchett. So I don't know if I'm going to fit this one into January, and it's not going to be on my January T bar. But I'm going to read it soon. So watch out for that. So I think we should get into now what I'm going to be reading in the month of January. Let's get into it. All right. So January reads. I'm really excited for January 2022. I've got like such cool books. I, I just cannot wait to read. So. Um, these aren't going to be in any real reading order. These are just going to be the books I'm going to try and hit in January. So the first book on that uh, list is Gardens of the Moon by er Stephen Erickson, uh, Malazan, Book of the Fallen. I know some people call it Malazan. I just hate that. I don't know why I don't like that pronunciation. I, it could be, I could be wrong, but I just like Malazan. So Malazan, Book of the Fallen, Gardens of the Moon, going to be reading that first or, you know, really early because it's big. And I know, you know, a lot of people are buddy reading this with Baron over at Your Brain on Books. And Sarah Reads and Chaz. So Chaz over at Bookish Chaz. So a lot of us are going to be reading it. Really excited to have that discussion with them and just, you know, it's going to be great. It's going to be so much fun. So the next book I, I have, I don't have the physical copy yet. Um, I've ordered it for myself for Christmas, a little Christmas present to myself, a late Christmas present, just there, I think they're on back order, is Empire of Silence by Christopher Rocchio. Really excited to read this book. Like I've watched a lot of top tens over the Christmas holidays and it's it's either been in the top three for all these, a lot of the reviewers I watch. So really excited, cannot wait to start Empire of Silence. That might be the first book I read because it's big. Um, so yeah, gonna get into Empire Silence. So the next book, uh, this is gonna be an audio book listen, is uh, When They Were Hanged by Joe Abercrombie. I, I've read the first book and the, the Blade itself, loved it. I also bought that because I loved it so much, I bought it on audiobook too, uh, like years ago. And I just love the audio performance, so I, I, I think it's the same person, so cannot wait to listen to, um, I need something to listen to when I'm walking my dog, pretty much, because I go for at least an hour walk every day with the dog, so I need something. Um, so yeah, that's going to be uh, When They Were Hanged by Joe Abercrombie. So next, I actually got approved for an ARC, um, and it's, it's my first ARC, so I was pretty happy I got it, and it's Age of Ash by Daniel Abram. I'm actually really excited for this. So, you know, Daniel Abram, he's one of the co-authors um, for The Expanse. I have a few other book series by him. I just really like his writing. You know, I think he was the one, I think he was George Martin's like personal assistant or something like that. Um, I think he's a better writer than George Martin, to be honest. So really excited to get this arc. Cannot wait to read it. There will be, I have to have a review out before February. So, you know, check for that one on the channel if you guys are excited. Uh, you know for that book coming out and i can tell you my full thoughts so now the last book on the list you guys all know what it's going to be and it's just because i haven't had one here yet is a terry pratchett book and that is the thief of time by terry pratchett so this is the last book in the death series as you know i've been really kind of plowing through the death books like had reviews out for reaper man soul music the hog father and so now just trying to finish out this the death series cannot wait can i'm like I, I i'm gonna like cause there's so many big books in in january i need this as my palate cleanser and my my fun book for not saying that these other, other books won't be fun but you know pratchett's just that that author for me where i just need a pratchett every month so yeah that's these are the reads that i'm gonna be reading in january 2022 you know guys comment down below hit me up on the discord let me know what you're reading in january i really love to know uh, do you guys want to get on in, in some of these buddy reads or, or some in some of any of these books I'm reading, you know, message me on the Discord, comment below, say, yeah, I'm going to read that with you. Um, I'm super excited for this month, you know, I just cannot wait to get into some of these books. So I do post on my, on my Discord channel what I'm currently reading, what my percentage is, where I'm at in my books, you can kind of track my progress. So yeah, anyways, guys, we'll check you out on the next video. Cheers. Cheers.